Another line in the Course was really kind of striking. It said, if you are devoted, you are entitled to devotion. You're entitled to miracles. That's one of the workbook lessons. But you are, if you are devoted, you are entitled to devotion. In fact, this world is nothing more than the call to witnesses. So when I'm finding in my awareness, in my dreamscape, these devoted, amazingly devoted brothers and sisters that have cast aside all to give their lives over to the Holy Spirit to be used for the plan of awakening, I find that spectacular. That's part of the pathway. If you are devoted, you are entitled to devotion. That sounds kind of Eastern. You know, anyone knows the story of Yogananda, Ramana Maharshi, there's some devotion going there. I've been over to India, on to some of these places, and ashrams. I love the feel. I love the feel before I walk in the door. I'm going, ooh. <laughs> so I went to some convents and monasteries, ooh. I feel, I get the chills before I even get to the door. When I'm in the parking lot. Oh, gosh, is that good. That's, there's some devotion going on there. My life has been completely devoted to listening and following that voice. And amazing miracles have happened. Daily miracles. Many, many miracles. That's what you need. You need to be miracle-minded. You need to be habitually miracle-minded to be consistently happy. That's the formula, so to speak. Consistently miracle-minded takes you closer towards that revelatory awakening experience.